It's time to break up the Skittles to talk about cardiac action potential. Okay, so let's look at the cardiac action potential from the graph perspective. This is our resting state right here. Our inside of our cells sit at about minus 70 millivolts on a regular basis at our resting potential, resting state. And then in order to create action potential or depolarization, we need to at least get become a slightly more positive at minus 55. And at its very peak inside the cell, we're gonna be roughly around plus 30 millivolts. We're gonna get pretty high on the millivolt side of things event once we hit our peak. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna manipulate things like sodium and potassium. And so we you see here are these gates and at resting potential right here our gate is closed meaning that nothing is shifting we have sodium on the outside and potassium on the inside like so and that's where their perspective states are when they're resting and then once action potential is going to occur we're stimulated our nerves are stimulated whatever the kind of the case that is what's going to happen is that we're going to open this sodium channel and by opening this sodium channel it's going to allow sodium to move from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell and by doing that, we're creating more positive energy inside the cell, meaning that we're going to have this spike and then we're gonna have more gates open and more sodium is gonna move into the cell, creating a more positive potential inside the cell, creating the mechanical contraction of what we're trying to create. Now, once we get to that point, our sodium channels are going to close and when they close, that means that we're going to kind of lose a little bit of that potential here. You see this little spike and then it kind of starts to peter off. Well, why that occurs is because as soon as we create action potential and we have that depolarization, our potassium channels are going to open right about here. And when they open, it allows potassium to move from inside the cell to outside the cell. And they're going to continue to open, opening more channels, allowing for more sodium or more, more potassium to move inside the cell to outside the cell. And what that's going to do is it's going to try and recover. It's trying to reset the cell and bring it back to resting potential. So we use potassium to prepare for that and get them down to this resting state by moving potassium from inside the cell to outside the cell in the repolarization phase. We've helped over 30,000 paramedic and EMT students sail through school and crush their exam. Any subject you struggle with, we have a fun, visual, and engaging class to help you master it. If you're ready, start a three-day free trial right now and watch your school stress melt away.